Listen, y'all, I'm outside because my dogs are barking and they're driving me fucking crazy inside. Um, so I'm outside. Uh, it keeps on thunder and lightning, so we're probably gonna get a downpour again. I'm gonna check the rain gauge in a minute, see how much rain we got. Anyways, so as most of you guys know, I bought a new car, new to me car a couple months ago, several months ago, maybe like a half a year ago. I don't know. Um, oh, I think it's probably been almost a year. Fucking regardless. Um, it's a 92 Accord. It's my dream car. It gives me so much, it brings me so much joy. Like you don't even know. I love this car. I, when I bought it, Doug said he wasn't exactly thrilled. Well, I didn't exactly give a fuck. So I bought the car, got rid of my minivan. So I'm, you know, living footloose and fancy free in my 92 Accord. Um, air conditioner doesn't work. That's an issue. I'm going to work on that. But um, he's been really hassling me lately about if we have to put more money in the car, we're not going to fucking do it. Well, sir, I have a job. Like, I'm not asking you. So he, he, that really pisses him off, too, which I don't, I don't fucking care. I'm not. I'm, it's not a discussion. So um, this is stemmed from a few things. Like, I um, had a little fender bender with my car. Uh, I rear-ended somebody. The, it, it definitely, I will not take credit for it being my fault. However, I know when you rear-end somebody, it's automatically your fault. So fine. And um, Doug was like, oh, your car's going to be totaled now, blah, blah, blah. Well, fool, uh, I just have liability coverage. So insurance wasn't even involved. I just had to pay for it to get fixed. And that really ticked him off because uh, it was about the price of the car. I, once again, don't care. Still cheaper than buying a new car. Period. Fucking period. Um, I think before that, I took it to the shop to get the oil changed. And I also had this squeaking noise. Like, in the front driver's side, like, it was real fucking squeaky. Like, I thought there was, like, a spring broke. It just kept getting worse. I was like, mm, that sounds real bad. So I took it to the shop. And... They didn't call me, they didn't call me, and then, I mean, just like during the day. And then they finally called me and they were like, she was like, hey girl, we got your car ready. I was like, okay, uh, what was wrong with it? Because she never called and told me. She goes, oh, you just had like a ball bearing or something that needed greased. I was like, what? Okay. And I went in there and I was like, are you sure you fixed it? She was like, yeah. I said, because it was, it was really fucking squeaking. She goes girl we know we could we drove it into the shop i was like oh fixed it right up didn't even fucking charge me changed my oil paid for that um if they did charge me for greasing the whatever it wasn't much i don't care i'd fucking pay it again um so then yesterday i went out so yesterday morning doug wanted me to move my car because he was going to mow there so i moved it over to the bar well Turns out he didn't even fucking mow there. He forgot to mow there. And I was like, why'd you even have me move my car? So I got in my car yesterday evening. I was like, I'll just go take a little ride, check things out, and my car wouldn't start. Okay, so now I'm like, I gotta get a plan together. I tried and tried and tried. So I called, texted my friend, and she had her son come, he came down, her son came down. Uh, he works on, uh, well, he knows cars because he's just one of those guys. He knows everything. Um, you know, 20 year old kid. He's great. And uh, so he came down and he also has done a lot of work on cars of my, my cars era because he uses them as demolition derby cars. So he came down and looked at my car. We couldn't figure out what's wrong. Um, and then we were pretty sure it was a fuel pump. Um, he did some stuff and then it started. And he was like, yeah, I think that's a fuel pump. I was like, okay. So, I mean, we tried to start it. He tried to start it. it all the things. <laughs> so, I knew I couldn't tell Doug. Because he, we're not putting any more money in that car, Kate. So, he had a doctor's appointment this morning. So, I called the insurance company. 
to get my car towed to Columbia um, because it wouldn't start, duh. And so I did that. My mom took me to work and then um, Doug called me when he was on his way home from his doctor's appointment and I was not to work yet. And he, he was like telling me about his next appointment and I told my mom before I answered, I was like, shh, Doug does not know I'm with you. He does not know my car did not start. She was like, okay. So that was the end of that. So then I got to work and I walked in and my phone rang and it was Doug. And I was like, oh God. And he goes, did I just see your car getting towed? I was like, yeah. What happened? I said, it wouldn't start. That was it. He probably thought I was in a fucking another wreck. I said, it wouldn't start. And mind your business. So they towed it to the shop. I had already texted the shop shop girl last night. Um, they were gonna look at it today, if it was a fuel pump, and if they could get parts, they were gonna get it done today. Fucking awesome. Thank you. I was like, thank you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, about 11, uh, they called me. Oh, no, they sent me a Facebook message, because that's how I messaged them last night. And they were like, we can't find anything wrong. I was like, he said, the car starts right up. The tow truck driver started up and drove it onto the bed of the, the tow thing. He said, I've had it running for like 20 minutes. I keep checking on it, stopping it, starting it. It's fine. It's fine. So I was like, okay. And I mean, they asked like, do you want us to replace the fuel pump? Like, we don't think that's what it is. So I said, no, I mean, I'm sure the fuel pump will need to be replaced, but I'm not just gonna like start fucking buying new shit when I don't even know what's wrong. Um, so I only had to pay for a little bit of the tow because my insurance went in, it was only going 15 miles and I went over that, take it to my shop, I don't care. The tow was still cheaper than a new car. And then Doug's already sent me like a picture today of a used car, like, ooh, well, sir, I, I am gonna continue with my car. I have no hobbies. I don't spend money on anything. I'm not fucking like high maintenance. I don't color my hair. I barely take care of myself at all. Um, so if I wanna spend a little bit of money on a car to keep it running that gives me enjoyment, suck it. Like I'm gonna continue to fucking do that. So uh, they didn't charge me anything at the shop because they are fucking nice and they know my bitch ass will be back. But um, I have just like two pretty big things I thought with the car, uh, with the, the ball bearing needing the greasing, that was, that worked out good. And then this, uh, my car may not start again tomorrow morning. I don't fucking know. But it started when I was at the shop. I drove it home, drove like a dream, like it always does. So I'll keep you updated on this saga. It'd probably be fucking fine. I don't even know what happened last night. I told my friend, your son probably fixed my car. I don't know what he did, but it was great. So anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on 092 Accord. She is a fucking beast.